Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why is DAX so hard? Now, just a few days ago on the community site at YouTube, I posted a picture and I asked people a question. What do you find hard in Power BI, especially when it comes to DAX or Power Query? And a ton of people replied that DAX is hard, learning DAX is hard, with several examples of what they are struggling as of now. But people generally said DAX is hard. Now, I will talk about that why do you find DAX hard, especially if you're coming from an Excel background, but I might also leave you disappointed because I would not talk about how do you conquer DAX because that's a big topic and I would like to dedicate a particular video to that. But I would like to talk about four reasons, my top reasons, why would you find DAX hard? Let's start. All right, reason number one is that you don't have F2 or cell edit-like capabilities like the way that you get it in Excel. Here is what I mean. Take a look, we have a couple of values here and maybe I'd like to go evaluate how is 150 calculated. I can actually click on 150, press the F2 key, which is to open the cell edit, and this will actually open up the formula and I can actually take a look at individual parts of the formula and how the formula is constructed. Even the way the cell addresses have been written, the color notations actually help me to lead back to the actual cells that are that particular formula. And I can see this is blue, so here is blue, here is red, here is red, and here is purple. And I would be able to trace every single part of the spreadsheet that actually links back to the formula and it becomes relatively very easy for me to evaluate what the formula is actually doing. Now, this kind of capabilities is not available in Power BI. All right, I'm in Power BI and here I have created a very simple measure called accrued incentive. And maybe I'd like to go understand what is the logic of calculating it? What is the data that is actually feeding in, into this particular calculation? What I can actually do is if I just maybe click over to that particular measure, it actually opens up the formula bar, which is where I can take a look at the formula or the DAX code, but nowhere in the formula, just by the color or the feel of how the formula has been written, you would be able to trace back to the individual cells or data sets that are being put through the formula that actually calculates this particular number. So you have to understand what the formula is doing. The way the formula has been written, we would not be able to trace back to the individual data sets that are linking to that formula. I have this analogy. If you don't understand DAX, you're just gonna stare at the DAX and the DAX is gonna stare back at you. You're gonna stare at the DAX and the DAX is gonna stare back at you and it's gonna be evening time for you to go home. All right, reason number two that actually makes DAX hard is that there are no cells in Power BI just as the way that you have it in Excel. Now in Excel, in a cell, you could possibly hold the data or you could possibly hold the calculation. And Excel has this flexibility where you can take a look at the data or the calculation or even both of these things side by side and that actually makes things easy. In Power BI, you get to work with a table, you get to work with a column or you actually get to work with a measure. Now the sheer fact that the DAX and the data set are two separate things and while you take a look at the DAX, you have to imagine what data set is going to be going underneath this DAX calculation that actually feeds this DAX calculation is a hard thing for people to mentally visualize and then come up with an answer. That's what actually makes DAX hard. All right, point number three, we don't have a debugger in DAX. Now, just as the way you would kind of debug your calculations in Excel by pressing the F2 key or the F9 key while you're writing the formula or maybe the formula evaluator itself, we don't have a way to debug the DAX. Even when you're writing any other programming languages, you would have some sort of debugging tool where you can kind of go through a piece of code line by line by line and you can actually fix the line that actually throws you an error. We don't have such things in DAX. Now in DAX, you have to have some techniques to be able to explore the formula that you're writing. I call these formulas as exploratory techniques in DAX to be able to explore what is exactly going under the hood when you're writing a particular DAX statement. Now, there are a few tools available such as Power BI itself or DAX Studio or Tabular Editor that actually help you in this debugging process, but we don't have a tool as of yet that I know of where you can feed your DAX formula and say that, go show me my mistake. That's what makes DAX hard. All right, the fourth and the final point is DAX actually works on a concept of filter context, while Excel actually works based on cell evaluation. Now, if you work with Power BI and you work with Excel and you feel that the formulas nearly look the same, but they can actually produce very different results because in Power BI, you're actually filtering tables. That's something called as filter context. And in Excel, you're evaluating individual cells. Now, if you don't know what these concepts actually mean, the filter context and the row context and things like that, I've done a couple of videos in the past. I'm gonna leave links to those videos and you should actually take a look at those videos and hopefully they'll make DAX slightly easier. 
All right, those were my four reasons as to why I believe DAX might seem challenging for somebody coming from an Excel background and moving over to Power BI and starting to use DAX. Now, I'd like to hear your story. First of all, I'd like to hear about how long have you been working with Power BI and with DAX and why do you find DAX difficult? Now, why don't you put in a comment and I'll be glad to reply. And if you'd like to put your pain and your agony aside and start working with DAX confidently, start to learn the fundamentals first and then proceed on to solving more challenging, more sophisticated problems with your own data, I will highly recommend that you take a look at my courses and start from there, you will find it highly beneficial. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers, bye.